Hello and welcome to my channel and I'm going to do for you a Bill in Aquadrome vlog. Mum, Dad, Adam, that's my brother and I, have come away on holiday to Bill in Aquadrome which is in Northamptonshire. Uh, we've booked ourselves a caravan for a week, um, a three bedroomed gold caravan and it's sort of a very early celebration for Mum and Dad's golden wedding. Their golden wedding's in September, but I'm not going to be around for the actual date of the um, the anniversary because they're going away. So we're sort of celebrating it early, and Adam and I are going to take them out for a bite to eat, and I'm going to decorate the caravan and everything. So I'm going to cut to different parts. I think I'll show you. Uh, I can't remember which order I've done it all in, but anyway, you'll see. It, it might be the caravan that's the first bit. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll quickly show you round that, and then I'll just film different bits as we go through the week so i hope you enjoy it here we are just before we uh descend lovely nice little table and chairs little lounge area little fire so we've got three bedrooms we've got a little double uh twin there bathroom here the shower double room here oh this is nice look at this the wardrobe caravan and then there's another bedroom as well very nice indeed so where we are at the moment my brother is fishing he's going to do some overnight fishing which we came here last uh when was it last august and i did do a vlog back then and he he did fishing overnight then um but last time we stayed in the glamping pods and we only came for one night whereas we're coming for a week this time here we are back on the first day been on the old breezy side look it's all babies Look at that! Table and chair, uh, a bench there with the um, the concrete slab, which is great to put the barbecue on. And Adam's over there, he's all set up, not caught anything yet. Like deja vu from last summer. Got two little disposables on the go. Pound each from Poundland. Got a bit of wine open. And then Adam's got his um, fishing tins and stuff. So mum's using those, we're going to have a go use those. So we're going to have beans, uh, scrambled eggs and bacon yummy yummy um, it's such a shame the sun's not out but it actually isn't too cold it's very windy but because it's you know almost July it's um, I think the temperature is about 19 degrees so we've got loads of clothes on but we're all very peckish so looking forward to eating a bit of this yummy scram So we've had the barbecue, that was rather delicious. Um, now I think we're going to go for a walk actually, just have a little look round. Um, the bailiff's just been over and had a chat. Nobody has caught anything today out of here, but Adam did say somebody had a big fish last night. So I know not everybody's going to be in, into fishing, but I used to do a bit of fishing a few years ago and it fish sort of eat at certain times so I mean they can eat whenever they want but they tend to I think it's dusk and dawn tend to um, start scoffing but the problem is with the the water that Adam's fishing in which he said it's really well stocked and there's a lot of natural food sources so it's quite hard to tempt the fish onto your bait but I'll just have a little walk around and show you a bit more of the wildlife because it's absolutely lovely around here and there's so many birds this one with a little signet, she's just hissed at me because I got a bit too close. So you've got mummy and daddy, I'm not sure which is which. And we're having a little uh, dip for some food, which is keeping an eye on me. Absolutely love signets. Love it when you just see the grey feathers start to go and the white ones start to appear. You sort of see under their necks, look, they're pecking it off. And it's going to reveal the, the white underneath. So you've got, it's mainly ducks and swans and geese. It's just so peaceful. I absolutely love it here. Just, I really like water. I love being around water. I just find it really relaxing. But the actual park isn't as busy as I thought it would be. Um, you know considering we're height of summer and everybody was sort of saying everywhere's booked up because of covid it's i mean there's a lot of people don't get me wrong but it's not it's not ridiculously packed which is good because you know with covid you don't want too many people around 
we've got a little bit of sunshine. Right. Maybe only five minutes, but it's warming us up. Mum and I are in the blankets because it's a little bit on the old uh, nippy side. Nippy side, but with that sun out, lovely. Woohoo! We'll be on barbecue number two within the next hour. We have a bit of a standoff with the local swan minis. Buffing the chests up. Do you think it stands side on because it can't see forward? Look at its wing out, its wing down the side, look, it's showing its wing. Yeah. I've not seen that before. Here it goes, here it goes. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Doing a little dance. Oh my god. It's going in for a peck. It could be a mating ritual. Could be. Oh, beauty. Look at that. It's doing a little dance. It's green. No, that's it. It doesn't like an audience. No fighting allowed. So I've bought some decor to do the uh, caravan up for mum and dad's anniversary. The only problem is the lighting will might go a bit funny in a minute. But I've got this bunting and these little uh, golden balls and then I've got some bunting that goes down there 50 years and then some little banners that say happy anniversary 50 years and then these little thingy bits and then I've got some balloons as well with uh, golden anniversary on it so yeah quite cute if there's any better, better pictures I'll put them in now but so it's day two we've had a very bad sorry about the juddery because I'm walking along We've had terrible weather today. It's been like this, grey and rainy. So we've had a bit of a duvet day and just reminiscing, lots of fun. We're walking to the pub for a so, meal. Yes, I've uh, been asleep for the past couple of hours. And I've been by the roadside. After catching no fish. Yes, and been out in the freezing cold. Adam stayed out all night long. Yeah. Didn't catch any fish, oh, unfortunately. Swans and attacked by the swans. He got attacked by swans. He kept thinking he'd got fish. His alarm kept going off because of the... Uh, swans sorry this is really shaky there's nothing worse so uh yeah sorry. off we walk to the pub geese absolutely everywhere look at that lot always pecking the grass there's the family on the walk i think we've got to walk for i think it's about two and a half miles to get to the pub gorgeous little stream this is a really nice walk look how clear that water is beautiful So we've arrived at the pub, just ordered. I'm actually in the loo at the minute because I uh, don't want to really be caught recording in the middle of a pub. So I've ordered chili con carne. Uh, mum, and dad have, mum, dad and Adam have gone for chicken dishes, all different ones, but the pub is absolutely lovely. So hopefully I'll put a pop, pop a couple of pictures in, but I don't know if I'll record anything in here. But yeah, lovely walk through. Um, I just showed you all the scenery. It was really pretty, really nice to have a walk with um, the family. So it's day three and we're off on a family walk. Um, my brother's been here before and sussed out a walk for us. So uh, we're going to set off. Well, we're setting off now. Weather's still not too great. At least it's dry today um, and not quite as windy and a smidge warmer. But we're going to walk along the water. There's a load of geese hissing over there, which I'm not too happy about walking by, but uh, we'll give them a go. Here they are. Dare I walk by? Woo -hoo. I think we're just hissing at Adam. Hiss at me, little rascals. No, thankfully not. Speaking to Mick, and he said that they, when they fight, they fight to the death. Oh dear. 
think there was one not long ago where the male killed another one. Ooh. What are they called? Drakes? Sorry? Are they called drakes? Do you realise how big swan's feet were? Look at the size of those ones. Humongous feet. I love swans, they are beautiful. That one's got a bit of a brown quiff. <laughs> so we've come down here to, I've never seen anything like this before. It's called a guillotine lock. Not quite sure why it's so. Oh, I see. Okay, so you've got absolutely love water. You've got that bit. You've got the lock. It smells a bit fragrant, I have to say. And then look at that. Not quite sure. Oh, that must go down. That bit there to stop the water. Oh, that's a different type of way of doing it. Hmm. Not seen anything like that. Very nice. Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I'm going to walk alongside this big long field. Nice little walkway along, walkway, not walkway, alongside the river that is, flows down there. Oh, it's so pretty. Right, let's catch up with the fam. So we're in a place called, I think it's called Coggan Hall or something. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at these gorgeous cottages. So pretty. What a lovely walk. We've sort of come off the beaten track now and sort of following a bit of a route. Gorgeous. We're off the beaten track again now. Walking through, I don't know what you'd call it. Fields and fields of beautiful flowers. Look at all this. So we're on a bit of an adventure. We've sort of hit a stumbling block. We <laughs> don't know where we are or how to get out. The road is... I can see the cars, but we can't get to the road to get out. So we've been walking in... Well, it's higher than, higher than waist height. It's been absolutely brilliant. Love it. Adam's just now off trying to find a different route to see if we can go round to get to the road. But uh, we've had to cancel our food booking because we're a bit late. Um, oh, hang on. I think we're going. Right, we're off. I mean, look at the terrain. <laughs> Oh, you can see how high it is. Mum's already fallen over in a puddle. Yes, They're beauties, aren't they? Let's come and have a look. Ooh. Goodness gracious, I hope there's no dead bodies in here. Look at these beautiful thistles. What a fun adventure. <laughs> look at these. Oh dear, I hope I don't get stabbed by any of those. Right, they've got big spikes on them. Right, I'm going to put the fill, the, uh, the the phone away because I need to concentrate on getting through here. Wish us luck. I think we might have come to another dead end. Oh, no. Look at the state of this. <laughs> I've been stabbed by a thistle, stuck in my leg. Pretty though, all the same. Oh no, we're off again. Off we go. I've only got jogging trousers on as well, so the thistles are going right through my trousers. I should have worn jeans. They're pretty. Look at those. Wild puppies. Beautiful. The adventures of the deep roses. I'll tell you what, I'm glad it's not a hot day because I'm scared stiff of snakes and I reckon there'd be a few in here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Look. We get through that bit now. Walking through stingers, you've got to be joking. Struth. I'm sorry this is going to be really juddery, but you know, I can't hold it straight. Oh dear. Got them flipping sticky things, everything keeps sticking to me. Oh! <laughs> 
that's gone over. <laughs> she's, she's gone over. Hang on, let me just think. We've managed to get out. We're all sweating, hungry, thirsty. Oh, look, we need everybody. to go to the pub to have a drink. What an adventure that was. Fabulous. Oh my God, I'm sweating Me my too. head off. <laughs> Come on then. So that's the end of uh, day one. What an absolutely fantastic walk that was. Oh, I hope I've been able to capture how, how uh, tricky the terrain was oh so much fun i know uh i shouldn't be laughing when my parents fall over but um they laughed as well luckily nobody hurt themselves we've absolutely covered in bramble scratches and stingers and all that sort of thing but no bad injuries so we've just been into the pub and um had a well-earned meal i think we walked over five miles in the end but i'll pop a picture in and sort of show the uh, the mileage just had a lovely meal in there and now um, the football's on so mum dad and adam have moved into sort of the beer garden to watch that and um, for some reason i'm just not interested in the football at the moment i don't know why i mean i worked at a football club for nearly 10 years so it's not like i don't know anything about it but just lost the passion at the moment so i'm going to go back to the caravan on my own and uh, either do a bit of editing or might start love island um, and then this this evening will just be a quiet night in after that um, that lengthy ramble. So yeah, brilliant day, real, real fun and a day that we will remember for a long time. I mean, for my mum and dad to do that at their ages, you know, mum's, I think mum's 72 or 73, dad's 79. So they did so well. I mean, the terrain was like up and down. You had to, oh, so impressed by them. I'm just so pleased everybody's okay. Um, yeah and unfortunately it was one of those sort of walks that we went so far that you had to come back so we weren't planning to put mum and dad through that at all but we just got a bit lost didn't know what we were doing but in the end everything was okay Adam and I sort of helped them through it and they did a lot themselves which was great right so I'm going to say good night for today and uh, tomorrow is Wednesday not sure what we're doing yet so um, I'll be back to uh See you once I know what I'm doing. So, good night for tonight.